I think it is April 14th. 2017 going on another fishing trip haven't been fishing in a while had a lot of school work a couple job interviews so finally get to go out it's a friday beautiful weather i think like mid 70s i'm gonna go bank fish the river um specifically the bypass once again should be an interesting trip because it's not going to be from the spot i normally fish i have to park and walk probably close to a mile to get to the spot i want to fish where the highway uh, meets the bypass so it should be interesting i'm bringing four rods with me maybe um i'll call my boy up melville see if he wants to go too we'll probably do a lot of green pumpkin um and the plan is to throw some swim baits as well and i want to catch another fish on that big uh, boom boom swim bait uh, it's seven inches massive got throw it on a seven six heavy rod um, but I caught my personal best on it. I really want to catch another fish on it. Uh, that's really all I have to say for now. Next time you'll see me, I'll probably be on a B-roll, possibly. Maybe I'll be on the water. I'm not really sure. I'll figure it out. Hey, um, I'm going fishing by Harney Park. You want to come in? Sure. All right, I'll be there in like, I'll pick you up. I'll be there in like uh, 30 minutes, probably 35 minutes. Cool. All right, I'm All right, back, we walked probably like half a mile, back in this little cut. I don't know if you guys can see it. Well, you definitely can see all that. Those beds uh, way out there. And I definitely see some fish. Um, they, If they're bass, they're striped bass or hybrid bass, they're definitely not largemouth bass. Um, I can see some on the beds over there. It's kind of weird, the main bypass canals over there, as you see, and in this look, just a little cut, there, I mean, there's probably 10 20 beds with what look like tilapia they could be i don't know i might toss in the jig down there to see if i can catch one real quick what where is it eating something yeah oh yeah we definitely gotta be careful of those <laughs> starting off with a wacky rig okay starting off with a wacky rig sanko green pumpkin like i said in the intro the chartreuse tail and we get to that bluegill i really want to know what these fish are it's 15 pound floral and i have uh, power pro high vis line on i just don't know yeah, watch out for that snake first I'm trying to i guess what i'll do is i'll just toss it right on the bed it's kind of picking up in this cut you see it right there? Yeah. I'm almost fairly certain these are for some reason. Lord, dude, that's a good one. Oh, it's stuck. It's stuck. Stay down, boy. Stay down. 
I don't know how I'm going to get this. I don't know. Please. I got you, boy. Oh, let's go. Come on, right in the side of the lip. Oh, man. Did I get that? Thank God. Look at that. Look at that. Right in the side. I hooked it from the outside. I don't even know how I did that. Did it just die? Oh, my phone just died. All right. I'm going to have to take this with the GoPro. All right. Still recording? All right, there we go, guys. A big freaking bass. If I had to guess, I'd say about six pounds. Uh, five, five or six pounds. There we go. Um, right out there. I'm tossing out to the bed. You, got, you guys probably can't see it. But tossing right out there to the beds. The beds. And we're going to try to get this guy back into the water. All right, let's get this guy back in the water. I'm going to have to toss him. Hopefully he'll be okay. All right, looks like he swam off. Ooh, all right. Let's catch some more giants. All right, this is the tackle breakdown now that I had to cut the hook out of that, that fella. So might as well go through a tackle breakdown. What I'm using is a bobber stopper with fourth ounce tungsten, as you guys saw me just get. I'm using an XPS four out hook. Now, I know this is a cheap hook, right? Or it's not cheaply made, but it is a cheap hook. And uh, basically why I get these is because I'm broke. And Bass Pro Shop gives you 25 for like seven or eight bucks. Oh, uh, if you're wondering, the line I am throwing is 15 pound P-line fluorocarbon. Like I said, I fish a lot of this muck, scum. So it is really helpful to, it is really helpful to be able to, um, get through this stuff like you see I, I, I was able to pull that bass through if I was fishing with you know uh, 8 10 pound 12 pound mono something like that I want to be able to put pull that bass through big bass with a lot of scum on them I want to be able to do it if I did have a tip for this video it would be that um, slow it down slow it down slow it down slow it down yeah I mean you want your worm to be as wet as possible when you're fishing keep the keep the worm in the water for an extra I don't know, 10 seconds. A couple more casts. I'm going to do some directional casting. Um, that's how I like to fish a bank. Probably four casts in this spot. Boom, 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 and then all the way to the right. Then I'll make a move probably down that way. I think it depends. i got to scope out where more beds are. There's, I mean, there's beds all across this bank, but I'm going to get like a, a tight-knit thing of beds because there's more likely to be bass running around those. Little guy, little guy, little guy, little guy, little guy, okay, come on now, little guy, we'll take you, we'll take you little fella, now let, this is where, let me turn him, let me turn him, what is that, is that bass, oh that's a bass, that's a bass, that's a bass, that's a bass, we'll take him, we'll take him, we'll take him, come on now, come on now, we'll take him, little guy, Come on, come on. I got you. Come on now, buddy. Little guy. Like I said, directional casting, boys. I caught a fish over there in the middle. Now, catch him to the left. <laughs> simple, simple, simple. There we go. How do you like that one? Not as big as that six pounder I just caught. Am I recording? Thank God. Not as big as that six pounder I just caught, 
but it's definitely a chunky bass. Looks like these bass are, looks like these bass are eaten properly out here. If I had to give it away, I'll give it about a pound, maybe a pound and a half. Unlike the other guy, we got this guy unhooked quickly, so let me get him back in the water quickly. For a little guy, but it's time for you. It's time for you to go back home. One, two, three. There you go, little buddy. Now, I know what you're wondering. Andre, you like Senkos? You seem to be catching fish with some Senkos. And boy, well, I tell you, I like Senkos. All right. Now, I have two options here. I can keep the same color pattern going, or I could try to switch it up. But honestly, I haven't caught fish in so long. I'm going to keep the same color. I may look stupid <laughs> trying to set the hook. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, dude, I had him. Where'd he go? That was, a, that was a definite bite. He didn't come back for it. Dang it. That was definitely a bass. Definitely felt a bass. I'm going to cast back kind of in that area, but not too close to where I spook him if he is just sitting there. Dang, definitely had a bass on that one. Look, there's something right there. I don't know what that is. It's definitely a bass, definitely a bass. Got him, got him. Come on now. You gotta stay down, stay down. Don't jump, don't jump. Just a little guy. Just a little guy, just a little guy. All right. See, I think he's stuck. Oh. There we go. Come on, boy. You a little guy. I'm sorry I had to put you through that, bud. I'm real sorry I had to put you through that. What? You decided to eat the worm. There we go, guys. A little one pounder again. On a roll today. Same spot. I knew there was a bass there. I definitely called it for you guys. <laughs> gotta keep fishing the spot. If I'm gonna keep catching good, healthy bass like this, I, I gotta keep fishing the spot. Let's clean you off a little bit and then give you a little toss. Alright, once again, sorry about that, bud. There we go, final, a, little, a final jump from my, my friend Bass over there. That's it for today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed. I promise there's going to be a lot more content coming to this channel in the near future. If you want to follow us on our social medias, the links are in the description below. The gear I used in the description below. But that's it. And as always, peace.